Hi friends, it's Amy. Welcome to my bookish life. Today, I've got a story to tell. So let's get to it. Three weeks ago, when I took my students to the library, they were doing blind date with a book. And as we were leaving, they looked at this book and they said, oh my gosh, Miss Bowman, this sounds so good. And we weren't really sure if it was going to be a middle grade, if it was going to be a young adult, if it was going to be appropriate for them. So we just kind of let it sit there and we kind of walked away. Well, I had to go to the library after school today to pick up a book for one of my students because she finished the book, first book in the series and the second book was waiting in my holds list. So it was an emergency and this book was left. This is the exact book that my students were like, Miss Bowman, this looks so good. Okay, so I need, well, I mean, I really want to know what this book is. It's almost middle grade March. I don't know if I want to read this book in middle grade March, but I was so intrigued. So listen, it says, the story of a suspenseful kidnapping case with the added twist of being told in reverse. That just sounds so cool. And then it has a quote from the book. She stood at the window of the Manhattan apartment, peering through a silt slit in the drapes. Her hands trembled. Okay, I'm going to open this book. You're going to see a bit what it is. Let me know down in the comments if you know what book this is. <laughs> because you are more... Um, aware of what's happening. <gasps> oh yeah, no, this is, this is definitely not a for my kids book. The October List by Jeffrey Deaver. Jeffrey Deaver, is he the? 30 novels, two collections of short stories, and a nonfiction law book. <laughs> definitely won't be reading all of his books, okay. The shocking end is only the beginning. Jeffrey Deaver has created the most riveting and original novel of the year, a race against the clock mystery told in reverse, the October list. Gabriella waits desperately for news of her abducted daughter. At last, the door opens, but it's not the negotiators. It's not the FBI. It's the kidnapper, and he has a gun. How did it come to this? Two days ago, Gabriella's life was normal. Then out of the blue, she gets word that her 60-year-old daughter has been taken. She's given an ultimatum. Pay half a million dollars and find a mysterious document known as the October List within 30 hours or she'll never see her child again. A mind-bending novel with twists and turns that unfold from its dramatic climax back to its surprising beginning. The October List is Jeffrey Deaver at his masterful, inventive best. The... The quote was actually, this quote was actually the first line in the book. She stood at the window of the Manhattan apartment, peering through a slit in the drapes, her hands trembling. Do you see anyone? The man across the room asked, voice edgy. I'm not sure. Maybe. Her body pitched forward tense. Gabriella tugged the thick sheets of cloth closer together as if someone was scanning the window with binoculars. Or a sniper rifle. Of course, I didn't see anyone earlier today either until it was too late. She muttered fiercely, I wish I had a gun now. I'd use it. It has photographs taken by the author. Okay, here's what I'm going to do. This is definitely not a book that I'm going to put in my middle grade March TBR, but I am going to read the first chapter. And I'm going to see if it's a book that I want to keep on my TBR or if I just want to peek at the end and see. <laughs> All right. <clears throat> Let's see.
It starts with chapter 36 at 6 p.m. 6.30 p.m. Sunday. And then chapter 35 at 5.50 p.m. Sunday. I'm still really intrigued. Uh, there's a little bit more <laughs> swearing than I usually like, but it is a stressed out mom worried about her daughter who has been kidnapped. Um, so <sighs> kind of thinking maybe that's a pass there, but it's a little strange to follow at first like <laughs> i don't even i don't even know really how to describe this because they're bringing up all this stuff that you know you're going to find out about in later on in the story it just you know is chapter 36 the end of chapter 36 cannot be the end of the story because it didn't really end but it ends with chapter one. I don't know how I feel about this, but I really do think that I want to keep it on my TBR. <gasps> okay. Jeffrey Deaver wrote the Lincoln Rhyme books, which is the Bone Collector is one of my favorite um, thriller movies in the world. I don't love thriller movies, but um, I love The Bone Collector so much. Uh, Denzel Washington. I love that movie so much. So, so much. And I've always been very intrigued to read the book. <laughs> All right, I'm going to not read. I just need to know if there's going to be an actual ending to the story. Chapter 21, chapter one, like it ends with chapter one. Like, is that, I don't know. I don't even know. I don't know. I don't know. I, I have, I have to keep this on my want to read list. I can't, I can't take it off. I'm super intrigued by this. Um, I just, yeah, it's, it's got to stay. All right. Well, have you heard of the October list. Have you read any books by Jeffrey Deaver? I have been intrigued by um, his books in the past. So I am really wondering if I would like his writing. This, I don't, It. I'm assuming that this isn't actually his normal style of writing. So regardless of if I like this or not, I would probably still give The Bone Collector a try at some point. Um, I don't know though. <laughs> it was, again, it was intriguing. I don't, I don't know what else to say about that. Uh, definitely not something that I would have seen and just picked up and read the synopsis of. So that's pretty cool. Um, I love my library for doing things like this. It's just really fun. So, you know, we'll see. I'm not, I'm not going to get to this in March. This is not the book that I want to read in March. Like these are the books that I want to read in March. There's so many middle grade books that I want to get to. I don't have room on my TBR for any more adult books. I have one <laughs> book club pick that I am reading and that's, that's it. I'm going to put this um, on Goodreads as uh, want to read and I'm going to leave it at that for now. That's all I have for this video. I hope that you're having a great reading month in the month of February. It is the last day of the month as I am filming this. I do you think that I'm going to finish another book before the month ends? So it'll be a little bit before my wrap-up comes out. However, I'm so excited to get into middle grade March. I can't, I can't even think about how much, I, <laughs> how excited I am about it. 
I hope you're having a great February. I hope you have a wonderful March. And until next time, happy reading. Bye.